So before we get into what are possible nuclear reactions, it's important to understand the interactions that are at play here. And there's two of them. Um, the first one being called the strong interaction. This is one of the four fundamental interactions of the universe. There's the strong interaction, the weak interaction. We're about to speak about gravity and electromagnetism. And the strong interaction is responsible for holding the nucleus together. So electromagnetic forces cause the protons in a nucleus to repel one another. So if you've ever tried to hold the positive end of one magnet to the positive end of another magnet, you'll know that they repel each other. And those forces are at play inside of a, a nucleus as well. Something is holding this all together, and that is the strong interaction. And it's also interesting to note, while it's outside of my expertise to really tell you much more about it, the strong interaction is actually also holding together the protons and the neutrons. These are made out of even smaller, more fundamental particles that are being held together by the strong interaction into protons and neutrons. Um, and that is what like particle accelerators and stuff are attempting to do. They take some of these very basic particles that we have and they smash them into each other at really, really, really high speeds in order to break them apart and figure out what is inside of a neutron, what is inside of a proton. The second force that I want to talk about interaction is the weak interaction. And the weak interaction is responsible for radiation. And what it's attempting to do, it's attempting to create a stable neutron to proton ratio, an N to P ratio that is stable. Uh, I have a graphic I want to show you to explain that. So there's a lot going on with this graphic. So I kind of want to step through it really carefully so that we can see all the features and exactly what it's trying to tell us. So the first thing to know is that this x-axis here is the number of protons, and the y-axis here is the number of neutrons. And this line through here is the point at which there are equal number of protons and neutrons. This point here, for instance, would be 82 protons and 82 neutrons in a nucleus. And you notice that at first, for the lighter nucleuses that are stable, um, they have very close to a one-to-one -one relationship. But as the uh, elements get larger and larger, with larger nucleuses, we notice that these scattered black points here, which are the stable uh, nuclides, uh, start moving further and further up from the one-to-one -one line. This means that they have more neutrons. So there's more neutrons required to stabilize uh, the nuclides as we get larger and larger until we get to a point where there are no stable nuclides left and all of the remaining elements are radioactive in some degree. This is why I said that we're close to filling out the rest of the periodic table. Uh, we're only producing radioactive elements at this point. Um, we can see that to the right or below the stable uh, scattered line here of stable nuclides, we are in a region where those nucleuses have too many protons to be stable. And that opens us up to certain kinds of radiation that the weak nuclear force is going to encourage to happen in order to get it fewer protons in our nuclide and move it closer to this stable region here. Those can include positron emission, alpha uh, emission, or just the straight-up ejection of a proton in extreme cases where we have 
right along the edge here where we have a lot of extra protons. To the right or above the stable region, we uh, have too few protons and too many neutrons to have a stable nucleus. And that opens us up to beta emission uh, or just the ejection of a neutron in extreme cases down here where we have just a whole bunch of extra neutrons in order to bring it closer to this stable region. So we're going to talk now about different types of radiation, but it's important to keep in mind that what is really trying to happen here is we're trying to get it closer to this stable region where uh, we don't see any radioactivity from those elements.